Hello, Year 6 saxophone players at Baba Toy Toy North and Puhinui Schools. This is Hama and I just wanted to check in with all of you. Hope you're doing well at home in your bubbles and um, things are a little bit different for all of us at the moment. We spent lots and lots and lots and lots of time at home and uh, I'm really hoping we can soon be back to normal and having a normal classes and playing music together. In the meantime, uh, there are lots of things you can do at home. And in a way, it's a good time to play music because, because we spend so much time at home and we generally speaking have more time. Uh, I really encourage you to use this time to play your instrument, even if it's just a short period per day, but make it part of your daily routine. Right, and uh, I am going to go through a few things that I would like you to work with. So this is a bit of a lesson online. Right, let me share my screen and show you. If you have your books, can you please get page 18 up? Page 18. And we're going to start with a warm up. That's number 86, Tone Builder. I am pretty sure that most of you have played it. But let's go through it anyway, in case it seems very distant. Now, um, before we start playing, when we read music, we need to be aware of the habit to always check some really important information. Right, and we have it in the beginning. Right, uh, we have a sign here. It looks like a hashtag, but it's called a sharp. This is telling us that we need to be aware of F sharp. Um, instead of F naturals, we have F sharps. That's what that means. Now, this symbol here is telling us what time signature we have. And this is four bits per bar, four quarter notes per bar. Probably the most common time signature we've done up to this point. Um, right, and the first note is a D. Right, I'm going to count us in. Get your saxophones ready. I'm going to count us in. To the next one uh, which is also part of a warm-up this is called rhythm builder and uh, it's focusing on different rhythms uh, and uh, we do have basically quarter notes and eighth notes that's our main thing and uh, we're going to look at first the rhythms before we worry about the pitch so uh, a way to remember quarter note and eighth notes is that you can use words for them so for quarter notes, we can use T, right? When we have two eighth notes, we say coffee, my favorite drink. So we're doing T, coffee, T, coffee, T, right? Let's talk through this rhythm using teas and coffees. We also have a few rests to be aware of. And um, yeah, let's give it a go. Join me, please. Right, I'm counting to four, and then we start off with a T, followed by a few more. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. T, 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 coffee, T, T, coffee, T, T, coffee, T, T, coffee, T, 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 coffee, coffee, T, coffee, coffee, T. And um, we do have a repeat sign, but I'm just going to move on a bit more quickly. But yes, when we have a repeat sign, we're doing it twice. 
Right, so you do have the rhythms, and now we're going to look at the pitch, what sort of notes we have. Now, going back to our habits of always checking in the beginning of a piece. Um, do you see the sharp sign? No, because we have only naturals here, it means that no F sharp, it's F natural instead. And reminder, we have actually just recently worked with F naturals. So if I show you my finger, that's first, Top three ones plus this, instead of F sharp as the middle one. So we have F naturals to be aware of. The time signature is four beats per bar. And we're starting on a C. I'm going to get you to uh, explore this one. Look at the rhythms first, then look at the pitch. Um, yeah, let's move on. Right, we're going to scroll down here to number 90. Uh, this is called variations on a familiar theme. So variation means that we're twisting it a little bit. This theme is a melody that all of you have heard and actually all of you have played as well. Uh, looking at the beginning, we have F sharp, four bits per bar, first note is a G. All right. I'm going to play you the first four bars. I am 100% sure you will recognize this one. Here we go. That's right, twinkle twinkle little star. What's happening after this is that we have a few variations. Um, and I'm going to leave you to it. You have the information. We have the key. We need to be aware of F sharp. And uh, we are exploring rhythms, quarter notes, eighth notes, half notes. Yeah. Give it a go. And um, you could take small parts at the if it's like a bar that's tricky for you, focus on that bar. Just take that one for a bit and then you add another one. And mainly mainly get your instrument up make a sound maybe you just make up your own music for a bit i actually my main priority is that you just don't forget to play your instrument and i hope that i will see you really soon so look after yourselves and until next time ciao